With Teddy, though, you go back a long time. You said 18 years old, Bill after standing on him, yeah. the Funkin' Dojo, you and, and Dory Funk Jr. What was he like back then? Was he just too immature, and that's why he got the he basically got fired? He's the youngest guy ever to get hired and fired. Yeah. Uh, maturity was a key point there. And uh, I don't know what he was thinking at that time. He was really talented. He was really good, no doubt. Yeah, excellent. Uh, but it came down to can I, can I trust you to be a pro when you're outside the ring? I think that was the key, one of the key issues and the maturity factor. And how do you tell that? Uh, you watch him and you listen and you pay attention. And we did. And that, and that was his downfall. We were watching and paying attention to how he was doing things outside the ring. And and that's that's no matter what it is, man, if you're looking for somebody to bring in your organization, whether it's an entertainment company or a sports franchise or, or a company in general, you want to know all about them. And you want to know as much as you can about them. But in wrestling, even more so, or I don't know if even more so, but WWE certainly wants to know about their talent and what their quirks and yeah. things are. So just at that time, he wasn't fitting. And then later on, he just proved to be, a, a as we talked about, a maverick. Just wasn't going to be – you're not going to put a saddle on him and spur him in the guts, man. No, he's going to be doing all the spurring. He's going to be running wild and doing all that stuff. So – in a way, he's, he's he certainly made his own reputation at at the expense of of himself. Did I you get that? Work, did you work with him again when he got re-signed when he was a part of FCW? Were you training him again at that point? I think it was two thousand nine ish, something like that. He, he he didn't get re-signed to FCW. Oh, but they got a tryout, right? Uh. Yeah, I think he did, but he didn't get re-signed because he came and saw us. When we were our, our first day was at a at a soft uh, baseball batting practice deal. We had the ring. Uh, God, those are the good days. So in, in the corner, in one of the one of the batting uh, cages, whatever it was, he came that day. He brought one of his uh, sparkly suits and and actually gave it to me as a present. I still have it. Uh, really? Yeah. That's oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Wow, and uh, he was looking to get back in. I don't, I don't even know if we had a tryout, but I know we did. He didn't come back. Natty was there. Natty did. TJ was there, but uh, I don't know that Teddy. I mean, he could have, but it's it's been a while back. He wasn't training with us. So he always says he could have made big money with WB. Can you estimate or, or do you know if that would be true? <laughs> let's say when he's 18 years old, like how do those contracts work? Are you making a ton of money or is this some sort of rookie deal where you're, you know, you're not getting a ton to, to, to start it off? No, no. And I think back then uh, his deal was probably 500 a week or uh, yeah, probably. So uh, I think most, I think the general was like way low, like 500 a week, but they were helping with, um, lodging uh rooms and stuff back then too but uh no it, it, it's all based on potential it's like mark henry kurt angle randy randy orton um yeah come in with potential but that'll only get you so far then they want to see results and uh, see if you learn anything so what teddy didn't do was get past the developmental uh, stage of the matches that, that we were doing in up in Boston for Mike Sparta. Yeah, WWA, yeah. Right. Okay, so he didn't get past that uh, part. And and because, you know, Bruce was going up there at that time, Pat was, would come to some of those shows too, and then myself and Dory, uh, our job was to lay out the matches, watch the matches, watch the guys, just kind of be babysitters in a, in a sense, but we're not babysitters. We're, we're letting the guys do what they want to do up until they show us they can't. 
And uh, Teddy, unfortunately, didn't uh, didn't make it past that, that phase, you know. And then I think once he left, once he got fired, he went back to Canada, I believe, and started working the Matt Rats. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.